everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Today we're looking at the Disney Colourpop collection. Now I only used Colourpop for the first time last week. I'll put that video up here for you guys to have a look at. Now I spent $700 on Colourpop the first time that I ordered and then people told me about the Disney collection. I'm not really a Disney girl myself. I mean I did enjoy Disney when I was younger but I'm more of a Sanrio kind of girl at the moment. But of course because so many people were asking me to review the collection I decided to buy it. Now I have a, a little bit of a sad story because I stayed up all night, I think it was 3am here in Australia when the, when the products launched. I was one of the first people on the site. The second that it launched, I added two of the entire collection to my shopping cart. One for me and then one for you guys. I was going to do a giveaway. And then when I went to check out, the website prompted me to log into my account. Now I had logged into my account, but I had Colourpop just kind of sitting open on my computer while I was waiting for the launch time to come. And obviously the session just timed out or something. So I had the two things in my cart. It was like log in. So I logged in and then that triggered the page to reload and it was all sold out, all of it. I had literally stayed awake all night waiting and waiting and waiting and then the whole the whole thing was sold out anyway so i went back to the disney page both of the collections there was a pr collection and then a standard collection they were both sold out so i just scrambled to get as many items as i could but some of them were already sold out so the princess jasmine lipstick was sold out the princess what's her name tiana or tiara tiana i've never seen that particular movie those two lipsticks were sold out there was also the highlighters were sold out and then one of the shades of eyeshadow was sold out as well. So what I managed to pick up today was the eyeshadow palette. Now I ordered two of these because even though I couldn't do the giveaway with the entire collection, I wanted to give away one of these at least, but only one turned up. It says on my invoice here, quantity two, a whole new world, but it's got like a little triangle thing like next to where it says quantity two so I don't know if that means that like they oversold them or something and they didn't have enough stock I'm gonna have to email them like this parcel arrived today so I'm gonna have to email them and ask if they end up restocking these things then I will do a giveaway I'll do that on my Instagram so don't forget to follow me it's pretty pastel please so yeah I managed to pick up the eyeshadow palette the three lip what are these? Lipsticks or lip glosses I'm not sure but I got bibbity boppity boo they're the shades I managed to get four of the lipsticks and five of the super shock shadows. I can't hold them all in my hand, so I'll just show you one. But yeah, I managed to get five of those. So what we'll do, we'll get the swatches over and done with at the start, and then I'm gonna take off this face of makeup that I'm wearing, and I'm going to try all of this on. So the packaging of the palette is beautiful. It's got the Disney princesses on the front. Personally, now obviously I am pretty pastel please, so I would have preferred a palette that was a lighter color. It is very dark and, you know, it won't look so great on my Instagram feed, but that's just me being fussy. But anyway, so inside the palette, the shades that we have are Chip, Juju, Grumpy, Triton, Abu, Prince Charming, Ray, Fairy Godmother, One Kiss, Archie, One Kiss, Thingamabob, Enchanted Rose, Poison Apple, Magic Carpet, Beast, and Midnight Curfew. Now the lipsticks that I got are Cinderella, Belle, Ariel, and Snow White. The Super Shock Shadows are Hi Ho, Be Our Guest, Almost There, A Whole New World, and So This Is Love. Oh, also, just quickly, have a look at the packaging for the lipsticks. This packaging is so beautiful. I appreciate the amount of detail that they've put into this with the artwork. I'm gonna hoard that packaging for sure. Even this gold box that the palette came in, it's covered in all of their signatures. Hey, no, 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 destroy. No, no, no. You are such a rat. Okay, so with that, let's have a play around with this makeup. Okay, now before I put on any other makeup, I'm gonna swatch the lips for you. I'll start off with Belle. Archie, ouch, ouch, claws. I'm trying to uh, channel Belle by wearing yellow today, but it's shoulderless and Archie has sharp claws.
I really, really struggle with lipstick because my lips are uneven, and if I don't line them and even them up, it always looks really messy, so please forgive me. I hope you can just appreciate the colour instead of looking at my skinny lips. That's Belle. It's a really, really nice, I feel like it's like a dusty rose kind of shade. I feel like it's not an everyday shade for me, for my skin tone, but this is like an evening shade for me. If I was going out for dinner and I had like a smoky eye, I think I would wear a shade like this. I wouldn't wear it every day. I do really, really love it. I think it's a stunning shade. Okay, next up I'm going to try Ariel or Ariel. So this one looks more like a nude kind of shade. And seeing as she has red hair, hopefully this will suit me. This is lovely. I feel like I could wear this every day. I really like the formula of this. It's not very dry, like it's very sort of moist. I don't know how transfer proof it is. Probably what I would expect, hang on. Mm. Yeah, you know, blotted down a bit. I feel like that's really, really nice. I think I'm gonna wear this one once I finish the look with the eyes. I think I'll wear this one. The next one I'll try is Cinderella. This looks like a really nice sort of cool toned pink, almost a purplish kind of pink. I think that's beautiful. I never wear pink lipstick. As a redhead, I kind of find that cool tone lipsticks clash with my skin tone. I like to go for orangey and nude lipsticks, but this is really, really nice. I like this pink a lot. This is very Cinderella with this lovely, nice pink. I love it, it's so pretty. The last color is Snow White. This is a red and this is very, very, very red, like very Snow White kind of red. I feel like they could not have nailed this color better. In the tube, at least, it looks like a visual representation of Snow White from the original Disney movie. I do love a good red lipstick, but I never, ever, ever wear it anymore. Okay, there it is. Now, once again, I wasn't able to get it even on my lips, but the color, that is a beautiful, beautiful red. I feel like with my hair, I think this is my favorite shade, but I do still think that I'll stick with the Ariel shade for when I finish the look today. I feel like this is one of the nicest reds that I've worn in a long time. Don't you hate that? Can you sit on my shoulder? Can you be good? No, I didn't think so. Here, why don't you have an almond? Okay, just taking a very, very fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Chip. Now, when I swatched this shade, it didn't come up at all on my skin. So for me, I guess as a base, this is just really, really good for setting whatever primer that I'm using, but it's not really gonna give me any color at all. Now I'm gonna dip into the shade Grumpy just with that same brush and I'll pack this all over the lid. Okay, now I'm just going to use kind of like a small domed brush and I'll dip into the shade Abu and I'm just gonna use this to darken up my crease a little bit. No wonder people comment and say I'm terrible at doing makeup. I will use a fluffy brush and just dip into that shade Chip again. And I'm just gonna try and use that to smooth out the edges here. You know what's so weird? Have you guys ever tried putting makeup on on camera? Has anyone ever filmed themselves doing this? When I look in the mirror, I see something completely different to what I see on screen. It's so strange. I don't have my saturation or contrast changed or anything on camera, but I see things on the camera screen that I don't see in my own mirror. It's really weird. In my mirror, it looks blended to filth. On the screen, it kind of looks like it's dark here and not really much color up here. This is really strange. Okay, that is my base laid down. Those mattes were pretty nice. I felt like Chip and Grumpy weren't particularly pigmented, but Abu was very, very nice. They did blend together fairly easily. After swatching, the shades that I was most interested in was Prince Charming, One Kiss, Thingamabob, and Enchanted Rose. So I think what I might do is try out Prince Charming and Enchanted Rose. Just taking a small sort of flat packing brush, I'm going into Prince Charming. Now I'm not gonna spray my brush or anything like that. This is a dry brush. I'm really interested to see how this metallic shade works. And I'm not gonna cut the crease either. This one is extremely powdery. Out of all of them, this one is quite chunky and it's really, really powdery in the pan as well. It is nice, like you can definitely see it and it has absolutely covered up the brown shades underneath quite easily. I'm not 
that impressed with it. I feel like it's swatched a lot better than what it actually is. So what I might try instead, I'm gonna go over the top of this with the shade Thingamabob. This seemed very, very promising. Oh, that's better, that's more like it. Man, this is such a nice silver. I've been looking for a really, really pigmented silver shadow for a while. Okay, now I'm gonna take the shade Enchanted Rose. Oh, this is so pretty. Hello, friend. You right there? I'm loving the fact that I don't need to spritz the brush at all to get this excellent color payoff. And it's funny, if you guys saw my Jaclyn Hill review where I reviewed the Vault collection, I had to douse those brushes in Fix Plus to get any result whatsoever from those warm metallic shades. This is a completely dry brush. I'm just tapping into it lightly and I'm getting this wonderful payoff. So I'm really happy with this. I'm just using Thingamabob again, just to sort of lightly pat in the center of the two shades, just to blend them together. And I know that silver and rose gold aren't really a typical color combination, but these are blending together so effortlessly. It's actually almost creating like a shimmery peachy color in the center. I don't know if it'll show on camera, but the two mixed together is really, really nice just in the center here. Now I'm just gonna use quite a thin brush like this and I'm going into the shade Magic Carpet and I'm going to use that to just deepen up the outer edge of my lid. I just can't believe how easily these shades are blending out. I don't know whether or not it's the brushes that I'm using. These are $1 brushes from AliExpress. So I don't know whether it's the brushes or if it's just the fact that ColourPop shadows are so incredibly easy to work with. Okay, on the camera screen, I can see they kind of need a little bit more work, but they are beautiful. I love all of them. Okay, now I'm just gonna use a flat brush like this. And I'm gonna take the shade Abu and put that on my lower lash line. Okay, now just taking a teeny, teeny, tiny little brush like this, I'm going into the shade Ray, and I'm gonna put that under my brow bone. And yes, I know I should probably have done my eyebrows first, but it would have taken me way too long and I really needed to film this video. And I think I'll put that on my inner corner as well. And just because I wanna see what it looks like as a highlight, I'm going into Prince Charming, and I'm just putting that over the top. What do you think, Archie? Do you reckon that's done? Is that done? One kiss. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna try from the palette, but I might actually try some of these Super Shock shadows. I wanna give this shade Hi Ho a try. I've since been made aware since my first ColourPop video that I should be using these with my fingers and not with a brush. So I'll just take my ring finger and just dunk into this. Hmm. I feel like because I'm putting this over the top of the silver, I'm not really giving it much of a chance to do its thing, but it is very pretty. Now in my other ColourPop video, people were telling me that I don't need to cut the crease to use these. I already have metallics on, but I'm interested to see if this covers it up. So we're about to take this look from a warm look to a cool toned look, because I'm gonna use this shade, which is called A Whole New World. This is a kind of like a purpley blue. No, no, it's more purple actually. So I'm gonna try and put this over the top and just see how pigmented it might be. You know what I find crazy? This just basically erases anything underneath. And now let's go completely wild and use this shade almost there because this one impressed me when I swatched it. It impressed me a lot. I'm just gonna put this straight over the top of the purple. Okay, well, that's an interesting eye look. I think I've just done three completely different looks in the space of about 10 minutes, but what I'm gonna do is just try and sort of 
tweak this up a little bit. I'm just gonna take some blending brushes, clean up the edges. I'm just gonna wipe away the excess that's fallen down here. I will put on some liner and lashes and all that good stuff and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, we are back now with uh, lashes and liner. So I feel like this really pulled the look together. If you're crappy at doing makeup like me, just learn how to apply false lashes and you'll be fine. So I'm just gonna put on some lipstick. Now I am thinking that I'm gonna use the shade Ariel, or Ariel, whatever the shade name is. So here we go. Okay, that's that, and I think I'll put some gloss over the top. And I'm really interested in this shade Bibbity, so I just want to see what this looks like over the top of this lipstick. This is just a shimmery, sort of champagne-y kind of clear gloss. Yeah, it's completely translucent. There's just a little bit of shimmer there, but nothing to really rave about as far as I'm concerned. Forgot my nose piercing. There we go, that's the finished look. So in keeping with the ColourPop theme, I have the ColourPop Auburn Eyebrow Dip Brow Pomade thing. I have the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in the shade Fair 35, a ColourPop Contour shade that I don't know the name of and I can't get it out of there because of my acrylic nails. So you'll have to go watch my other ColourPop video to see what that shade is. I have the Blush uh, Holiday and I have the Highlight Wisp. So my final thoughts, the lipsticks, they are beautiful, all of them, all four that I have, and I believe that the other two shades are stunning as well. The lip glosses, I personally wouldn't write home about any of them. I don't think that you really need them unless you're a Disney enthusiast and you just want to collect the entire collection. Um, mate, what are you doing? Come here. The eyeshadow palette, regardless of whether or not you like Disney, I would 110% recommend that you buy that if you can get your hands on it. I'm not sure if it's in stock at the moment or what, but I adore that eyeshadow palette. I have a couple of ColourPop eyeshadow palettes now and I've been head over heels in love with all of them. I know at the moment you can't really see the look from the palette because I covered everything up in the Super Shock shadows. Hopefully you could tell from the application process. If a rookie like me can blend it out like that, I'm sure anyone can. The Super Shock shadows, I don't think you necessarily need all of them. I would just go for the shades that you're most attracted to. I don't really think that the purple shade is that fantastic. There isn't as much color there as I had hoped that there would be, but Hi Ho, I think it's called, that was really, really nice. And you know, they all swatched pretty well, but I don't think that they are essential. I think out of this entire collection, if you're saving your money and you just want to get something, I recommend just going for the eyeshadow palette. I think, oh, and the lipsticks. I think any of the lipsticks are stunning and I think that the eyeshadow palette is 110% worth it. The other items, I can't really comment on this uh, Super Shock highlight because they were completely out of stock. There's a few colors here that I'm missing from certain items. So maybe check out a couple of other reviews. I'll list some down below. I know Tati's put one out. Kathleen Lights has one. There's a few people that have reviews. So go check out those people that actually received it in PR. As you guys know, I'm not sponsored by ColourPop. I'm not an affiliate. I didn't get this stuff for free. I bought all of this with my own money. I think that I got all of this for less than $100. You know what, like, I think that that's worth it because ColourPop products are nice quality, cruelty free. Last time in my last ColourPop video, I said something like I thought that they were vegan, but they're not vegan, not all of them are vegan, but they are cruelty free. Like I said, if a, a rookie at makeup like me can achieve a look like this, I think anyone can. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate it if you can like the video to let me know that I'm doing okay with my makeup. I'm practicing every day because I want to get better for you guys. You know, I'm giving it my all. So if you ever have any tips, tricks or advice, let me know down below. All the advice on my last ColourPop video was so so incredibly helpful. I cannot thank you guys enough. People spent so much time leaving really long comments with such fantastic advice, helping me with my brows and helping me with my foundation and my blending and things like that. I really appreciate it. So never hesitate. If you have anything that you want to say, leave it down below. I love reading the comments. So with that, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. It's Pretty Pastel Please. Twitter, Pretty Pastel PLS. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.